Okay, let's see how this is working. Just a second. Actually, I will cut that out and. Okay, um, hello my artistic family, <laughs> um, I hope you are having a fantastic day, um, actually I don't know, my uh, camera is seem to be frozen, just a second. Um, Activate configure and some of these correction those phone direction Okay. Um seems like I always have some some kind of freeze on on my camera on the beginning. I should do those uh, little adjustments on the uh, lighting and uh, so on <laughs> earlier so. But uh, hopefully that was not too boring to watch. So um, nice to have you here. I see Chris Art. Hello, you are already there. I hope you are having a fantastic Sunday. Um, I have my cup of coffee. Don't know. I can't show you my cute little mummy mug. I try to <clears throat> remember drink that when it's still hot. <laughs> And uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, record also live uh, uh, live, live video for... Hmm. I don't know. Okay. To... Instagram. I don't know. Did that did that work? I have no idea. Live. Start live. Checking out the connection. I'm. I don't know if that works or not. Hopefully it will. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yesterday. We did these uh, three um, flowers here and uh, this uh, uh, another hummingbird was uh, done, was it on Friday, a few days back. And now I'm going to color this, uh, this another hummingbird here and also I will show you another little tip how you can do little tiny tiny details to your um, tiny white details to your uh, picture and yeah so let's begin um, for those of you who may know may not know uh, this is a coloring picture that I made for you you can purchase that uh, from selfie.com uh, slash fine art anne. Uh, the link is down below in the video description. And uh, I, I, uh, I have tried to uh, do as, as close to these shapes 
as possible in this uh, uh, this uh, coloring demonstration. But uh, what I did do, uh, what I did for this this piece is I traced this image to this better paper because I don't want to use this kind of uh, uh, flimsy uh, printing pa paper for for this kind of uh, uh, coloring picture. So this is available for you and also I have on my website uh, instructions how you can do that uh, tracing. As you can see it's not uh, this does not have that uh, uh, that of a uh, dark uh, lines here. I don't personally like to use uh, that kind of darker uh, outlines on my my colorings. And yeah, let's let's start. Actually, okay, my camera froze again. Just a second. And also, I try to. Oh my! I really hope this is not going to be a constant pro problem. And also, I'm trying to ooh, get this little bit closer here so that you really can see what I am doing like so and um, configure it and focus again adjusting my camera so that you you can see what I am doing. Now the indigo is sharp so I I think we see what I'm doing here now. Apply okay and okay <laughs> little bit closer look. Okay, that didn't work. I, I was going to do live stream also on, on my Instagram account, but uh, uh, I think I should... Uh, that needs a uh, quicker um, internet connection. And now that I am using that to this uh, YouTube... Um, YouTube video I I don't like to <laughs> I don't want to use that also on the Instagram so Okay I'm uh, just uh, doing little um, shaping on here uh, so that I can see whether where these uh, the outlines of this uh, little hummingbirds bird is not pushing at all, just making those little markings. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Art. I l uh, I'm glad uh, that you like this this. Uh, how this is coming along. Also, I would love to see uh, other people's, what other artists uh, are making. Few, few have already bought that uh, coloring picture, and I hope they are having as much fun as I'm, as I am.
I have um, I don't have much uh, color in this area the tracing that I I did was not as uh, as dark as it could be and as it is in some other areas here and there so okay and um, now I have little better understanding where the <laughs> these uh, outlines here are again I'm going to do first this uh, this hummingbird and then I will do this pixie and just li like last time I will do the white under coloring if I just find my white that is gray where is my white my white Fabricastel is there. Found it. So tiny. I need to get new one. I have I have these uh, both open stock. But for now. Even smaller, still working. Now I am doing this underpainting because I want to get a little um, small, small white dots here and there, kind of uh, shine. And um, I can. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm planning to demonstrate this uh, one technique. Uh, not exactly the same that I did here, but a little bit different. Something that uh, helps you do even uh, smaller white uh, details than these. And uh, again, like I told you la last time, I personally like to use this uh, white uh, polychromos pencil for this underpainting because I find it uh, easier to layer other colors, other darker colors on top of this than uh, if I were using the, that... Uh, more opaque uh, white luminance pencil also because these are cheaper than those uh, luminance pencils and luminance pencils are much better for other things so and uh, um, and this uh, polychromos uh, white pencil this is not opaque at all so usually this is quite useless useless poor little pencil hi camellia um camilla uh i like your drawing the pixies are cute thank you thank you so much i like you like like those uh, pixies i was <laughs> I had a little bit hard time doing that another pixie because it is so tiny. It was quite hard to get those so tiny details on her tiny tiny face. That is uh, one one uh, problem 
you may face when uh, when doing those uh, coloring pictures uh, on digitally like I did that on the end I first sketched it uh, on normal just piece of paper and then uh, uh, transfer that to my computer and then uh, color it or uh, did that uh, line art again on uh, on uh, uh, Photoshop so I could zoom to this face and uh, do all those nice little details but <laughs> then when you um, try to do that uh, same thing in this scale you just can't get that much of uh, details done okay now I have this underpainting here just white and uh, now I can kind of forget that and start doing this uh, more interesting part of this this uh, drawing so let's start with that eye I think I'm a little bit uh, different kind of a artist in this way that I don't always start from the eye I actually consider myself not uh, that good of uh, drawing eyes some people have these amazing pictures where where uh, the eyes are just so beautifully done and I don't know um, I feel like uh, I don't know if it's uh, because I usually these these days I rarely do those uh, that big big of uh, a pictures where I I could even do those uh, those uh, really detailed uh, eyes because uh, if you have as uh, small eye as this is you just can't get that much of details details done so oh but still it is uh, it's important to even try to get get something some details so that it looks more lively and again let's do that uh, upper shadow and then we have this this area here is staying white and then I lightly shade that the lower area and again darkening the outer area tiny tiny little eyes really can't see what I'm doing Okay, and then we have these uh, little fe feathers coming here and I'm, I want to uh, keep this area quite light, um, not totally white, but uh, it is kind of a white, white lighted area. And just a second, where is my... Yeah. Little, little bit like this. This is really dark picture, but hope you can see. I like to uh, get that kind of light area there. And. 
then let's see let's darken this again I'm doing these uh, kind of uh, lines uh, but uh, coloring it like uh, like there would be little feathers the growing uh, the direction where the those grow is uh, more like this way so that's why I don't I don't color this this direction the movement uh, of your pencil is very important always especially when you uh, do those uh, uh, fur as uh, <clears throat> fur or or feathers but uh, more with fur and uh, hair the movement of your your pencil should always be on the direction of the fur or or hair Just little dots. And uh, in here, in the sensor area, these are a little bit larger. And when I'm going to this, this direction, these are getting even... even uh, larger larger on this side and uh, when I go near the eye area there is there are uh, those feathers are just really really small more like a dots than anything else Um, I made this uh, playlist where all these uh, videos I made on, on this, uh, this topic, this uh, pixies and hummingbirds coloring together um, live streams. I, I made a um, playlist for you so that it's easier to just uh, follow along and uh, um, get those uh, all those videos on <laughs> uh, on right order if you if you really want to follow follow along and uh, color as as I do
like this is this wing is here so it needs to be I want it to be more a little bit darker and these feathers are kind of turning to this direction slowly Again, I am just placing the shadows on the play, uh, uh, on the areas that are darker, but I'm I'm not trying to get the uh, the color, the end color, uh, just just right now. Uh, it's just the this is just the the first first layers. And then I will I will uh, slowly build up that uh, that uh, final color that I want. Don't try to um, get the <laughs> right color on just one layer. Usually it it uh, doesn't work work like that. Taking me some coffee. here these feathers here are quite uh, um, how, how should I say you can see the individual feathers more more easily I show you like here I'm trying to uh, get this kind of look in here so but uh, not Maybe not just as uh, as dark as that. We'll see. But um, the humming hum hummingbird feathers have these uh, kind of nice uh, lines. I I don't know if you can see it here. Uh, these are quite. Uh, uh, there, there are these uh, little uh, individual, smaller here kind of things. Check out close-up uh, pictures of hummingbirds. You can see those. I like these these little lines so much. So that's why I'm doing this kind of usually usually don't do that that is not common in every bird it is only in this case and the these kind of scaly look like uh, feathers are more in this area but not in the stomach area these are more like the soft soft kind of uh, feathers and the darker areas are on the end um, on the kind of beginning the uh, under under the other 
a feather that is on top of this this is on top of this feather and that's why uh, kind of I don't know if it's like uh, this is casting shadow uh, it's not like a cast shadow but um, yeah the the lines are a little bit darker on the this side and then I leave deliberately that light white area there and again The dress is going there and somewhere there, so the, there is one feather. And more. And Now I'm, uh, I have this uh, structure here and I'm making those darker areas, hiding the contrast just a little bit. Still in camera, yeah. Okay. Let's move this camera just. A little bit so that I won't go 
off camera when I start. Let's see. Here is the lowest areas. Yeah. And here on the tip of these uh, tail feathers, I want to leave these uh, these areas white. And it's starting to get like a U shape and so <clears throat> and then let's see we have this feather like so and I'm kind of using this as a reference you can check out uh, some some other pictures Now I'm uh, kind of uh, just coloring, shading the areas I want to be the darkest one, the shadow, shadow kind of uh, side of these tail feathers. And then there is this kind of nice uh, bushy fur, fur or <laughs> feathers like here and in the stomach and like this and the stomach is somewhere here okay and then I will do like I did in that uh, other hummingbird the, because there is this sensor line in these uh, fe long feathers and these uh, the feather fur <laughs> grows outward from those so I do light coloring, light lines like this. And let's see, here is the outer edge of that. And that I can do this a little bit darker. I'm still not pushing that much, just a little bit. Actually, there is one feather like so so now I'm doing kind of like I follow this line just a tiny tiny bit and then I do a straight line here like this and I try the very this uh, uh, so that it's not even constantly but uh, like uh, there is a oh I want this to stay quite sharp so that it's not like uh, every line here is uh, exact exactly on the same same length and same uh, uh, facing here. Yeah. I will uh, darken this up quite a bit, but for now I do little lines there and then I'll do the kind of opposite side So 
and then little circles I do this um, kind of edge here and I leave a line of a, a white area here and just the ed edge of there I will do that another line here so I can I get this kind of shine here and just lightly because I want this to stay white but no white is pure white so just lightly adding those little lines there and more coffee sharpening my pencil Okay, and then continue. And I do the exactly the same thing to this this feather here. And now I leave white area on the outer uh, edge of this uh, this feather, and also between this shine uh, or shadow here and this shadow here, I do this kind of in between. Let's see how how that will look like. Let's darken the just a little bit on that edge there. So. And again, I'm doing those little lines growing uh, from this center line to the uh, other other side of this this feather that is just going under this another feather here. I can actually darken that up quite a bit. Oh! Pushing too much. Don't do that. And again, same thing. The center line is. I leave this uh, white line here.
few darker lines. And let's darken that and let's do those another lines here. Actually, I didn't like uh, that uh, one. one little bump there, so just erase that. And again, same thing to this, but actually now I'm sharpening my, my pencil just a little bit. Now I have this nice nice sharp edge and I didn't need to sharpen my pencil that that much Now I won't go completely on the edge of, uh, with this this line, but I just leave that like so and darkening a little bit that 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 highly art uh, <laughs> yeah I'm happy having great day um, <laughs> thank you well I'm obsessed with details um, although it, uh, I have found uh, the joy of a uh, kind of a loser style I actually I really enjoy watching other people's loose 
looser style uh, paintings like uh, uh, this uh, one pastel artist uh, Susan Jenkins from Monet Cafe I think uh, the name was um, she has a really beautiful beautiful style there is there is details but they are not as sharp and uh, um, don't know how to explain the detail detailed as as these kind of they are more like impressionistic and uh, the colors and the contrast and they are just beautiful and I really really like those but I I personally don't like to do that kind of uh, paintings that much and I'm trying to learn, <laughs> um, for example, with the with the pastel painting that I did in this kind of same concept, where uh, were these uh, two hummingbirds? I kind of deliberately left that uh, a little bit looser. Although there is details, but uh, of course there is not as much as in this because you can't do that with, uh, with pastels as easily. And uh, also I I lost uh, lost the uh, ability to do uh, fine fine little details on that, so that is also one reason for that. But uh, also, I I have now done few um, acrylic paintings with a more looser style, and it is fun. It is really fun with those. But uh, with colored pencils, I find I really enjoy doing these tiny, tiny little details. So Lee Art and Chris Art and Camilla and uh, whoever other people are there, um, how have how how has your day been? Is it uh, what time there where you live and uh, what have you been doing today? I have been just lazy and. I have been eating a lot and watching TV and so on and then well started doing this <laughs> just uh, relaxing um actually now we are done with this uh, indigo blue for just a little while and Let's start using, this is cobalt blue, let's see if this is the color I want or should I just change. And now I'm following those, again those lines. Yeah, yeah, I do. Actually, yeah, I do like uh, the 
mix it uh, between illustration and impressionistic style there is this uh, one one artist Finnish artist uh, I know Tuira uh, Pulka who who does these uh, beautiful uh, they are mostly usually they are gray kind of impressionistic looking but there is a um, nice uh, movement on her her paintings and uh, they are just beautiful and um, I have thought that I could one day maybe buy some painting from her because I really enjoy those I have tried uh, doing uh, the same kind of uh, things myself, but it's it's a r really weird. It feels like uh, when I'm doing that kind of painting, I see those uh, see um, <laughs> kind of mistakes here and there, but on other people's art pieces, I don't see those. As a mistake at all they are just beautiful and I love the roughness and uh, rough look on on those and but I uh, don't know why I can't see the same in my my pieces So Camilla, you are drawing a rose with colored pencils at the moment. Yeah, th those are really, really good uh, practice pieces and so beautiful. I was like doing art another <laughs> together right now. Yes, it is so, so fun. Um, how many, how many of us uh, are kind of coloring together? Um, while watching each other's uh, live streams, it is like having a group of other artists on your, with you, while you are painting or drawing. Okay, and now let's see. I want to get much, much lighter color now. Let's see if. Okay, which one should I use? really light light layer with this um, and now because these are quite uh, translucent colors these uh, uh, polychromous pencils I'm going over completely uh, those uh, those uh, Darker colors. Just, uh, just to get rid of that white paper. And I'm not pushing, not pushing at all. Light hand.
continue here. Okay, my camera froze just a second. Um. is so annoying when this happens. I hope that won't continue happening too much. And then let's take this one. And uh, now I'm following the darker areas here, here in these uh, tail feathers and leaving those white areas aside. That way we get this uh, nice shine, shine on those uh, feathers. But here I will continue coloring it here. The calm day came home and came out to melt as that was. <laughs> um, so you are in Italy. Um, what concert were you at? I hope you had a great, great uh, concert. It's so funny that uh, everybody is saying that there is uh, so hot here and there <laughs> everywhere else in the world but uh, here in Finland it seems like summer never comes okay there is uh, warm enough to uh, be outside in just uh, um, just in your t-shirt but well, it's uh, 15, uh, 15 Celsius, so to us it is quite, quite warm um, summer day 
but I really hope we can get more more of that uh, warmness and sun this this uh, summer also now it uh, just feels like the summer is not coming okay actually I I need to make that a little bit darker but uh, just adjust my camera just a bit okay yeah now no, it, it is not as burned as, as it was just a second ago and now let's see let's take this one this is luminance uh, phthalo blue or something yeah, yes phthalo cyanide blue Little dots here and there. Okay, and then let's use this cobalt. And then let's add Then let's take a um, Maue, this is some uh, dark violet color.
and again just those shadow areas there darkening again those same areas Oh, I'm pushing too hard. Okay. And then we use the same same violet color to darken these Okay, and then let's see. Let's take this one. No, something darker.
anarchy anarchy con concert okay uh, okay that is not familiar to me As you can see, uh, by layering this kind of um, slowly um, with different colors, we get the quite nice uh, deep colors, deep rich colors here. white white uh, tips of these uh, these feathers Actually, I can use this, this to blend or soften some of those uh, these feathers like this, and I can I still uh, have that nice shine here. But uh, it blends more uh, smoother to those uh, other colors here. Getting that uh, light blue on, on the stomach and I'm just kind of shading and blending everywhere here. Blending these colors together to get more uh, softer look. Hi Rosalie, uh, Rosa Linda. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, fairy dragons, those cute little things. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I love those. Uh, I love to combine uh, fantasy and. Uh, Mix it with na nature or um, or a kind of a real thing, a real uh, creatures and uh, fantasy creatures together. Yeah, 
now I'm sharpening some of these lines with this uh, dark indigo and then I will go over these same lines with that uh, uh, dark magenta color because that gives uh, these uh, dark areas a nice uh, kind of black deep black feel or look Jump always scares me. Pushing quite 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 hard here. Hi Brenda, uh, I've been watching with the Jai information. What is the shoot paper like against Fabrian Art Festival? You have uh, fun when you yelled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm always jumping here when I broke broke the tip of these uh, these pencils because I really uh, push push quite hard. Uh, on this kind of a situation when uh, I don't need to worry the paper being damaged anymore. Um, yeah, so Fabriano Artistico against this uh, Chuti paper. Actually, <clears throat> I haven't uh, tried the uh, Fabriano Artistico hot pressed paper. I have tried the cold pressed paper and with col water. Um, with uh, colored pencils, I can't recommend using that uh, um, Fabriano hot, uh, cold pressed artistico paper. I do have used the other Fabriano hot pressed watercolor paper, but that is the one that has, I think, 20% of cotton uh, when uh, the 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 artistico brand papers are a hundred percent of cotton now this paper is also a hundred percent of cotton and i really like this paper uh, with uh, with these uh, uh colored pencils but um i have a friend who who works with uh, who does uh, also watercolor paintings and she said that she didn't like uh, this paper with uh, with uh, watercolors although i'm not sure if if the paper that she did uh, she used uh, was it this uh, exactly the same paper i don't remember is this um, called shuti noblesse or uh, I, something something um, I don't remember those uh, all those brand names but uh, this is 
um, 100% of cotton and I really like this uh, with the with these uh, these pencils um, I am planning to try this out with those uh, watercolor pe pencils um, just don't uh, know what what to do uh, what subject but um, actually I had this idea <laughs> that uh, I would uh, do this uh, uh, in uh, with watercolor pencils that are quite similar like these uh, these uh, polychromos pencils because those are are also from Fabria uh, for from uh, Fabricastel. Um, I would select some picture, some reference picture, um, probably horse or or unicorn, <laughs> turn it to unicorn or something like that. And um, I would take some picture and then I would. Uh, give you guys an opportunity to select some some of these color color schemes like uh, this here and then I would find these colors uh, as as close as I can from from that uh, polychromo set these colors and the turn that uh, horse picture in those colors and I would uh, I could show you how how I would do that that kind of <laughs> um, color change for some picture your English is getting better with every video you make good for you <laughs> I'm enjoying learning different languages yeah <laughs> It, this really is getting easier and easier um, every time I <laughs> actually it feels like uh, when uh, when I'm live streaming I'm speaking with uh, other people more than I do for on whole week <laughs> because even though I am uh, I'm working on open office. I'm, I'm kind of a. What? Well, how? How do? I, how do you say it? The solitude person. Um, I like to. Uh, be on my own, kind of, uh, and. Uh, usually, I just uh, have a, have some, tutorial <laughs> from from, for example. Uh, from Lacry Fine Arts or um, Mondays, I'm always on uh, Will's live stream, the Unmasked Art live streams, and uh, uh, also Mondays I usually listen the podcast Lisa and uh, John John Midik has uh, great podcast. Uh, really recommend you to check that out pencil podcast or sharpen artists those are great and <laughs> I'm always listening uh, and uh, listening something like that and uh, sometimes if uh, for example artists have had some uh, live streams I'm I've been there and uh, chatting around and uh, with her listening uh, when she draws and asking <laughs> asking stupid questions <laughs> although there is no stupid questions and um, yeah it is funny uh, in Finland we have kind of two languages here to um, uh, it's 
how how do you say two languages we we uh, mandatory is it is it the right word mandatory languages we had to learn um on on the on school uh, one is finnish of course and one is swedish but <laughs> i am horrible with with the uh, swedish also english english is uh, but uh, every every finnish uh, kid uh, learns english on at least on some level but uh, <laughs> i i could say say that uh, my other language is more more uh, like uh, this english than Swedish, I I can't, I barely can say ja prata inte svenska. So where are, where are we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, hot press is lovely. I have used Fabrian Artistico hot press with protocol. Okay, and it was lovely, the same as Arches hot press. Okay, hmm. I have Arches hot press. Uh, I don't have, but our, uh, I think our local art art deal dealer has. Um, so it's the most common here in Italy. It's in Italy. Sorry, yes, artistico. Italians know how to make paper <laughs> and cars. Uh, let's see. Yes, I want this to be. Let's give this a little bit browner or pinkish look. Uh, actually, I'm thinking uh, I could do brown wings. Um, yeah, I actually I I love how fast uh, Lisa speaks. Uh, I'm slow speaker, also in Finnish. I'm, I'm <laughs> my brain doesn't. Uh, work as fast <laughs> but uh, I like to listen Lisa speak because I really get bored I, I I usually recommend people to watch my videos in double speed because I speak so slowly <laughs> although it's uh, maybe it's uh, easier to understand for some people Oh. oh, let's leave that. No, 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 no. I want to erase that. Yes, much better. Yeah, I love Lisa's videos. Uh, actually, she is the reason why I why I started uh, making colored pencil pieces, uh, working with colored pencils because. Previously, I hated, as, as I have told you, <laughs> you guys, many times, I hated colored pencils before. But that was mostly because I was using wrong colors, wrong papers, wrong... Um, I, I didn't... Uh, for example, I didn't know you could blend uh, with odorless mineral spirits <laughs> and that was two years ago about a little over two years ago i'm starting to get uh, uh, wet hands so i wanted to get this uh, paper under my hand Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I have heard that uh, the Fabriano Artistico hot pressed watercolor paper that uh, so many like to use. Mm, that there is some uh, some problems uh, in pro uh, producing that paper. It, the quality is not meeting the standards most artists want. So. I don't know <laughs> because I I haven't uh, tried any. For some reason, the cold pressed papers are more com common here. And uh, one time I was going to buy buy the um, artistic paper. I got mixed up with the the horrible descriptions that our uh, one of our uh, local art shops um, online online shop had and uh, I, I thought that I had I was uh, buying the artistico paper but I wasn't I was buying the other one that is not a hundred percent of cotton but I was again too lazy to <laughs> return the um, the pad that I already had uh, opened, and uh, actually one reason for that uh, why I I didn't uh, ship that uh, pad uh, back was because it was about a year ago, and I was again leaving the to the summer holidays and I didn't want to wait wait for new papers and I thought that well what the heck I, I can always use these one these ones and uh, buy more when I'm, I'm done but yeah Yeah, I love Lisa. I hope she is getting better. She has uh, been away quite quite some time now because uh, because of the injury on on her back. But she is better now. I think she had some um, antibiotic uh, problems don't know um, but I hope she is taking taking uh, the rest she needs I think she hasn't had uh, a vacation for years she's always always working so so <laughs> um, she really needs to ease up now when she is not not well. The one with uh, twenty five per percent cotton is the studio type. I'm using it just now for a mix of new water of the Okay, so it is the studio. That is good to know. The um, art shop, uh, online shop where I bought my my uh, that studio paper from Artistico, they were uh, they had labeled their uh, pads so that there was a. Uh, Fabriano watercolor, hot pressed watercolor paper um, and the grammages. And then there was um, Fabriano hot pressed aquarelle paper and the grammages. And I had always heard that uh, uh, Lacri said that uh, the Fabriano 
hot pr- uh, Fabriano Artistico hot pressed watercolor paper and I just looked at well this is the watercolor paper so I bought that and the, it was the wrong one and they they in the shop they didn't have anything like a Fabriano Artistico or studio or Academia or anything like that and I gave them <laughs> hard time for that but that uh, that shop they are um, they are kind of a um, what is it at the Mahandoya the deliver they de- deliver these uh, different uh, art supplies here in Finland and uh, sad to say I don't like the service on that that place but unfortunately they also have the largest variety of different kind of uh, art supplies there but our local here in in my town uh, art new art uh, shopkeeper um, it's uh, if there is any Finnish people, it's taidetarvike.com, uh, taidetarvike.fi, and uh, Flutman. They are just great. They they uh, have just uh, got this uh, uh, pastel paper that I I really like to use pastel mat here in in their shop. They are currently the only only place you can order uh, pastel mat paper here in Finland and I just love them so please please give every support you can my Finnish fellow artists to that to that uh, lovely shop Because they really listen, listen the customers' needs. Hi, Hilde. How are you? Uh, yes, it gets confusing. I bought the extra white last month, and it. Just didn't uh, take many layers at all, unlike the old stock that took masses of layers. So I am very sad. Oh, that is so so sad. Um, I hope everybody you who buy those uh, Fabriano Artistico papers, you you let the uh, the Fabriano know that the, there is that problem because they won't change change anything uh, if uh, if they don't get enough uh, um, feedback but uh, unfortunately as I know uh, because I'm on on pa- paper producing uh, um, paper business in the way that uh, um, my day job is uh, in this company Volumet they uh, they are a paper and a board machine manufacturers so we don't do um, we don't manufacture paper but those machines uh, that do <laughs> uh, that you use for making paper and board and I think Fabriano, uh, the the machine they they have, it's quite old, quite old one. So they they have had to um, repair the machine. So the pr- problem might be there that the repairs have uh, done something for the uh, way they produ- produce those papers uh, 
let's give this more pump up these colors more like this and where is my there. Then let's give these inner areas here a little bit light. Let's take this one. Yeah, paper is is important. You can really <laughs> um, struggle struggle if you are having you are using wrong kind of paper. And you really actually don't uh, get it uh, until until you really have tried the ro uh, right kind of paper. And uh, there is not only one one paper that is the ultimate best and only one that is right right uh, to use. It really depends on what you are going to do and uh, what is the outcome you want to achieve. And also also what uh, mediums you are using and so on. So, for example, if I combine uh, pastels and colored pencils so that I want it to be more, more of a uh, colored pencil piece, but uh, I want to tone the or do the under coloring uh, quickly, uh, then I may use uh, um, the Canson Mitantes uh, or Mitons uh, pastel paper, but when I'm doing piece that is more of a completely with pastels, then I definitely want to use uh, that uh, pastel matte paper. And if you are using, for example, products like uh, the 
oh my god, uh, brush and pencil powder blender. Then I like to use the Fisher 400 uh, sanded paper. I need to try out how how that uh, um, powder blender would work on pastel matte paper. I have seen few few people doing a, doing a, a, a portraits or or things uh, on on pastel pa paper uh, pastel matte paper with uh, using that. Uh, um, brush and pencil uh, powder blender, but I haven't I haven't tried that just yet. I guess it works. <laughs> it can work. Let's give this. Just blending and giving it more layers, high popping colors, and here is a little bit pink, more pink. And actually, I could. Where is my white? And this with white. Okay, and then let's take this. Sinirishti lippu, yes. Uh, how do I pronounce my uh, the name of your flag? Sinirishti lippu. <laughs> this fun question. Uh, is there any other language questions you want to ask? Tell me <clears throat> how how long have I been streaming now with this because I can't see that for some reason. Do some detail in here, just the little, little, little lines. Just in these few, few feathers, yeah. And then we have this stomach, actually. Where is the grey color? Here. Let's use this one here. And 
here. Some grey shadows. Something like that. Let's keep it there. So you like Fabriano Tiziano pa pastel paper? Um, uh, do it. Uh, does the the ah uh, the Tiziano paper has it has it uh, that uh, honeycomb uh, structure also on the back side of the paper because. Uh, um, Some meat and this uh, pastel paper. There is this honeycomb uh, structure, but I also always use the back side of that paper, so so that is uh, much smoother. Nearly two hours. So this was much quicker <laughs> than that another. Uh, Hummingbird, although I haven't done this fairy or pixie just yet, I'll start working that in a minute. But now I'll take this red or magenta color and do those. As I mentioned earlier, I will go over this these shadows here again I don't know this is probably the hundredth time that I'm working these these same areas here but every layer you give it it will just hype up the contrast give it more depth and starts to look better. Okay, so that has the uh, that has the um, honeycomb tex texture also on the back side. Again and again, going over the same, same areas, but every time it gets a little bit darker and a little bit better. Just few places, not everywhere, just in few places, and this.
actually I want to get a little bit darker here just that the outer edge there and a few lines actually not this but this one Again, scaring people. This is again one color I uh, pine cree queen. I'm burning through these certain colors so quickly. wide awake again <laughs> I need to um, scream <laughs> yelp um, once a while so that you guys uh, won't get get too sleepy there don't sleep on your class Okay, so uh, good night, uh, Chris Art. Ha hope you hope uh, you have a great week next week, uh, and uh, we'll see you uh, soon. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow on Will's uh, live stream. I bet he is going to have one tomorrow also. You're like a art family. <laughs> we are always hanging together. So, bye Chris Art. Mm. And then now I'm going to show you this uh, technique. I hope this will work. So, in the beginning of this video, I did this under, under layering 
with this uh, tiny, tiny, uh, brave little feather castle white pencil. And then I color it this whole piece. And then I will take Scotch Magic, Scotch Magic tape. Um, the important part this is that uh, this tape does not have any glue glue on it and I will this looks like this has this uh, green inner area and I will take one little uh, piece of tape and I have my pencil pencil here and I bring this close to here and I lift lift up some areas where I want to get that uh, white back back there but be aware you may get too much too much uh, color away although you can always uh, um, color those areas again but uh, like this and you can actually do this uh, without that uh, white under under painting this way you get much whiter erasing there but uh, yeah this is one neat little trick Yeah, that is that is perfect for nail designs. Okay, let's take a new piece of paper or pa paper. But tape and uh, what I do is I so that I can hold hold here and then I bring this just the edge of that tape there and try to get a new clean one
you really don't need to push push much <laughs> yeah glad to hear that uh, I can give you new new little tricks this was yet again one that I learned from from Lisa she demonstrated this uh, on this one tiger tiger painting or drawing colored pencil drawing ah. Well, she made these uh, little highlights on um, some what is someone someone in English. Well, these little th uh, not grass but uh, um, this uh, moth a uh, most moth. moth. Okay, I'm losing, uh, forgot, forgetting uh, words here, but hopefully you understand. Uh, she did these little highlights with this technique, and it was quite neat. And this is very, very handy. And easy. Uh, and then I just cut that end, <laughs> like you see, I have this uh, piece of uh, tape all over that. And now I want to get here some of those little details and a few of these. How do you do little details this way? Tiny, tiny details. Cute little tiny details. Everything is cute. Even details. If they are tiny. there and slow process moss moss yes <laughs> yeah uh, she had uh, so Lisa had that uh, little uh, demonstration where <clears throat> where she made these uh, the little details on moss I don't know if I pronounced that right but that was one really eye-opening hmm. maybe I should just Afterwards, when when I have done these uh, videos, I could just take these uh, few little um, few uh, samples or um, parts in uh, in these uh, videos I'm now making and uh, make another one where I can I so show these uh, few tips so that those that don't want to uh, watch all these all these videos long long many hour long videos can still find these because i like to share knowledge usually i just link people to uh, other people's uh, videos like like in those uh, Lisa's videos that are 
are very useful and handy but if somebody accidentally just bumps into my my videos you can they could also see these um, Most silly, I think you are getting delirious. I like, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, let's take more tape because because we can. Ah, no. And then let's make it here. That is sticking in my finger. Oh, that is nice. Let's do that here. Oops. I feel like my hand is trembling. We have uh, little baby squirrels on, uh, on um, living on somewhere on our backyard, and uh, they are uh, every day they come feed uh, feeding in in our um, what is it called this uh, where you feed your birds, and uh, they are just so cute little things and few of those are starting to get uh, quite uh, um don't know what is the english word domesticated not not the word but uh, you know what i mean i i could uh, i can go over almost almost touch those uh, little furry babies and they are just so darn cute I'm constantly I have thousands of pictures for those taken of the, on those those little fellows <laughs> no, I w I want to I want to stop doing these uh, these um, long videos. Don't worry, but I can uh, do a few extra videos from these ones that uh, just cover those uh, few little tips tips and tricks. No worries, I will do continue doing these uh, long live stream videos. Why? Because I'm lazy. I'm so darn lazy. I don't <laughs> I don't like uh, editing videos. I'm really bad at uh, waiting and when you render your 
videos it's so tedious to just wait and wait and wait so and also i don't like to do voiceovers to those videos <laughs> because i it, it just um i feel like i don't know what to say it is somehow different in these live streams Okay, let's see. Let's do a few lines here. Okay. Mm. Oh, almost forgot the face. Yeah, me too. Uh, I like these long videos, especially if somebody is talking. <laughs> but. And I know I'm not, um, I'm not that good of uh, constantly speaking and telling. Oh my God! I take too much. No, no worries. Just um, well, although this is getting easier and easier every video I make but because well I'm not that good of a teacher because half the time I have no the freaking idea what the hell am I doing I'm just <laughs> kind of playing around and uh, testing things out and uh, with this one, I, I did have a more of a, a plan, what to do and why and uh, what to show you. But, uh, oh, so many times I have just, I just do and create and hope for the best. And don't know if <laughs> it just, uh, when you some some uh, things are kind of uh, obvious to yourself um, you don't know or it just feels stupid to tell those those things although I I need to remember that uh, some things that are obvious to us that are kind of uh, should I say more advanced or have uh, have been creating longer? Um, the things that are obvious to us are maybe not as obvious to those that are just beginning and just learning. For example, um, I got this great, uh, great question 
one, one of uh, on, of my videos and where uh, this one person asked it, uh, how how do I uh, how how was it how do I kind of do my my compositions and uh, colors and the themes that I get on on my art pieces and I really need to think how to explain what is the process that I have when uh, planning new new art pieces because for earlier years back I I did basically only uh, portraits mostly with uh, dog pro dog portraits and so on and uh, but nowadays I I rarely do any portraits but uh, uh, rather than rather I uh, combine I see different pictures and uh, different pictures that I like and I may take uh, some ideas from there and uh, uh, little by little I get some idea on my head and then I start to um, um, sketching the ideas on paper or uh, or I on paper or usually I go through go, go straight to my Photoshop and and do the sketches there uh, and just maybe study some anatomy of different uh, animals or or plants or so on and then then the colors well um, <laughs> I love pink and uh, teal and green colors and blues so it's kind of uh, just uh, natural me to do this kind of color this colored colored pictures I need to really uh, um, focus if I, I if I do uh, some other color scheme picture I really need to focus so that I I uh, stick to that plan and not uh, won't uh, start doing this same same coloring as I almost always do okay so let's see I need to check out the um, these uh, settings just a little bit. It's weird. It is something between this and the previous one. Uh, is this is more blue, and these are now quite okay. Quite okay and okay. Okay. Oh, this. Wow. Then let's start 
working with that little fairy or pixie or what should I call this? Again, I'm doing the under painting. Okay, uh, just just a second. I try to find my white white brush. Brand new white Have a castell. I don't like to have these tapes here, so remove that and again let's make that under painting. This white. Uh, I don't want to color those eyes that I have sketched there. But here it is important to get even, even coverage. So there. Let's put this all over here. Let's take this one and no, no, not this one. This one and hope for the best. Uh, before that, I will do like this. What the hell is there? Is there white? There is just some something, some little. Dark dot on there. I hope it won't show too much. This is very, very careful. I'm more like a tapping than coloring.
This might sound silly, but I have a fear of messing up, so most, uh, so mostly, I do color swatches to get free for, for the product, feel for the product, but that's as far as I get. <laughs> I get inspired by watching you, uh, you work because I see. What you what can be accomplished? Maybe I'll complete something in the future. Oh, thank you, and I'm so glad to hear that uh, uh, watching me draw uh, can really inspire you. Um, I remember the phase when <laughs> when you when when I uh, had that. Uh, uh, the fear of of ruining just a second I um, sharpened my pencil the fear of me ruining the pieces and uh, although I haven't had that uh, too bad it's kind of like a I want. I like to say it like uh, every every mistake you make is a a little friend that uh, shows you uh, how <laughs> what not to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and uh, usually the mistake mistakes you make, other people don't see it it like that. Um, the mistakes are mostly on our own head and uh, it's okay it's okay to do mistakes and uh, because from those you learn if you don't if if you don't do mistakes that uh, that actually means that um, either you haven't done anything because people who don't do anything don't do mistakes and also uh, if you don't see any mistake on your on your piece piece that you you have make um, I feel like then you are not you don't want to uh, pro um, get better um, or uh, you are not willing to see the mistakes and the mistakes are not actually always bad they are just something something you want to do differently next time and that uh, makes you uh, noticing those those things uh, they always make you uh, do better and uh, be better and learn more. And uh, when I say mistake, it, it doesn't m mean that it is something bad. It, don't, it doesn't need to be something bad or wrong. Uh, it is just something you maybe want to do differently on the next piece whether it is some posture some lighting some colors or so on and uh, <laughs> Hi Pat. Um, glad to have you here. Yeah, I have been up and drawing for I think maybe three or four hours now. Um, and Rosalinda, you said um, 
that uh, when you watch watch me drawing uh, it, it, it inspires because you know what can be accomplished and that is exactly what uh, how I felt when when I first found uh, Lisa the Lacrie Lacrie Fine Arts and her channel and um, that was about two years ago and uh, be <clears throat> before that I <laughs> I really hated colored pencils I I didn't uh, like to work with colored pencils at all partly because I didn't know what you get could accomplish with uh, with water uh, with colored pencils and uh, because I like the look of uh, of paintings like oil or, or acrylic paintings and uh, I didn't like the outcome that uh, that I at that point got with my my colored pencils when I I work with those so um, but the reason reason for that was firstly I was way too hasty I tried to get uh, the whole piece done in one sitting and as you can see I <laughs> this kind of little area has taken me what three hours three hour about three hour two hour three hour so there is uh, this will be about 20 hour work and this is not even that big of, of a piece and uh, Yeah, um, when I saw saw what Lisa dot, did, what uh, she could done uh, do with the colored pencils, that opened my eyes that uh, you really can do uh, great art with uh, with colored pencils. At that point, I I was I, I was not in any art groups. I actually didn't do much of art at that point um, not uh, not the way I do do these days back then I did uh, some some uh, portraits of uh, uh, other people's dogs mostly and uh, and uh, those uh, digital art uh, but those were mostly for for me and I didn't share those anywhere and uh, then I found Lisa and uh, what she could do and uh, I wanted to try try out myself and so I bought my first set of uh, polychromos pencils and I was hooked I fall in love with those pencils and actually my first piece that I I made with those was a uh, one meter and 70 centimeter or 80 centimeter high um, colored pencil portrait of my <coughs> my own dog that that took me over 100 hours to complete but uh, that was a deliberate uh, thing for me because I I knew that I had this kind of problem that uh, I, I was too hasty so I uh, decided to take uh, a enough peak of peace that uh, it really they uh, would take me long long time to to do now it looks like 
she's having a beard. I don't like that. Um, yeah, what, what was I saying? Uh, I, I decided to take that kind of a subject that uh, I knew would take me a long time to complete and also also um, I really just wanted to enjoy the ride and just hang around with my pencils and I, I wasn't uh, rushing to finish it Okay, um, I find pasta pencils easier and love your pasta works too. Thank you, thank you, Pat. Uh, so you feel pastels, pastels are easier. Yeah, there, there are some, some, uh, um, uh, Features in in pastels that makes them a little bit easier than than these uh, Just a second I'm trying to find one pencil But uh, with pastels, it is really hard to get this kind of details in this scale. You can do quite much details with pastels also. Now I can't see. Uh. Tiny, tiny. Let's see, where is my... Let's test this out. Uh, da -da 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 -da.
<laughs> so here it is. Uh, draws with you now trying to draw a cat. I should, I should really do, do some cat portrait soon. There is, has been so long since I've done, drawn cats, any cats really, even, even those uh, big, big cats like uh, lions or tigers. love the eyes cat eyes are just so beautiful so well, I should get some really nice reference photo and draw it Actually, my um, my cousin has uh, uh, three of those uh, gorgeous uh, Norwegian forest cats, and uh, I have been thinking that I should ask him to take some good pictures from those cats, send it to me, so that I could draw those. They are just gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, and then let's see, let's see. I have way too many pencils here. And yes, this is green, dark green color. I use this for kind of toning down the brightness of these. Uh, this um, I'm going to say fur but not fur hair <laughs> I want her to have a nice kind of pushy pushy looking not that clean And she is going to have a green uh, dress, but 
I am going to make a pinkish uh, under corn here and here is one buttock just make that nice and round and another one there Okay, let's see if I could kind of make this look like that. A little bit translucent, but not too much. We'll see how this will work.
uh, <laughs> um, this is sort of master and uh, but you uh, my eyes feel like I have sand in them I promised to finish watching later today so uh, <laughs> your finish is uh, quite good uh, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, go and rest your eyes if you if you feel like uh, you're having a sand sandy eyes. It's the uh, what is it? The uh, sandy man? No, uh, the sleepy man. Um, that is uh, blowing the the. Good night dust to your your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Hope uh, you can watch the rest of this uh, later. I um, this won't take will not take me that long to finish. I hope. Let's take this screen and make a shadow here.
and darken it a little bit more. Okay, and then let's try, let's try how this uh, tape will work in, in this area also. Mm, just a little bit more of this green darker green here
and then let's try make making little sparkles <laughs> okay, so uh, hi Camilla, uh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, we have done quite quite a lot in these uh, couple of hours. Um, I'm almost done here. I will just uh, hype up a little bit uh, that contrast here and there. In this um, in this dress and uh, and then we are done but um, just little little while longer
Okay, and then <clears throat> let's sharpen this
yeah i i would li really um appreciate that and uh, it would be so nice to see see your creation of this Okay, we are almost done here. Now I just uh, I will just hype up the contrast in little bits. Few glues here. Here and there, and few details, sharper lines here. Oh, that would be that would be really interesting to see one with the pastels and one with the, with colored pencil but I really recommend if you are going to do this uh, with pastels uh, double the size double the size of this uh, this is a tree uh, so do it in a a2 uh, size so that these kind of areas would will be much easier to do the smaller the piece is the harder it is to do tiny details and uh, with the with pastels it is a little little bit harder So that that would uh, help help your poses a bit. Of course, you don't have to do as tiny detail as I am doing here. <laughs> there is no need for that. Um, this is just something I enjoy to do. Enjoy doing. Now I'm just kind of glazing one color on this side. Also in here. And uh, Let's test how should this how would this look like if I glaze lightly this pinkish color. We don't have that much of pink in in this uh, bird here. So And 
hier. And Ooh. applying my pencils here. And let's do in this middle section here a little bit brighter yellow that uh, looks like uh, it is more of a greenish color. Few lines here and there. I don't know how much these these are showing in in your end. Bright, bright. Bright colors. Okay, and then just a little tweaks on the on the beak here. Just to sharpen those edges like this. You can't see anything. <laughs> Let's try moving this so that Let's use this uh, white, white luminance for softening, softening these uh, feathers in here, in, here, in these wings. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, hi Nan, um, so I just happened upon the channel today, what a wonderful surprise for me, uh, how to watch the entire series, yeah, I, I actually have a um, playlist where I add, uh, I have added these, uh, the whole series so that uh, I will add this one too after this is finished so so that it is uh, easier to just put that uh, playlist going and uh, check the watch the videos there but uh, uh, yeah I think I'm I'm done for the day at least for for uh, doing this uh, this uh, <laughs> these two fellow fellows here um, I don't know I may um, may continue uh, no it's so late 
I probably will continue with these flowers uh, next week. Tomorrow I can't, uh, I know I, I don't have time, but uh, maybe Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, I, I hope I can finish this before before leaving to my summer holiday. That is my plan. Luckily, I have uh, most of this done. Just a second, I will move my million pencil here just a little bit aside and uh, let's look up this picture a little bit. Don't wobble. Stay. Stay. <laughs> like talking to a dog. Just a second, I will adjust the focus. And uh, okay, so oh, almost done. Not that much to do uh, anymore. Only one, two, three, three little. Uh, flowers they I think I will do on one live stream there won't be that much new thing to do to uh, teach you uh, it's quite the same as what I have done here and then uh, there are these uh, little squ squiggly lines here and there so those are still uh, uh, to-do list, but uh, oh. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun little um, live stream. Oh, and in the end, uh, when I have finished this, I probably will try uh, adding some little details, dots here and there, with the brush and pencil touch-up texture and uh, titanium white uh, mixture so uh, I show you how I add those uh, details but only for in few little places yeah but um, I'm done for today uh, and I hope I see you next time um, Thank you for all of you who came here and um, uh, especially for those those of you who support me uh, by uh, purchasing the, the uh, coloring picture I'll show you this coloring picture and uh, in my website I have the instructions, quick little tips, how I transfer that picture to this better paper. So, yeah, <laughs> I uh, always say these same things, but uh, because there are new people there, so um, um, to some someone uh, those might be. Uh, new new things uh, to hear. So, thank you, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.